I'll be explaining the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, Daf Chafan Beis, 20b. In the middle here is the earth, there's the moon, there's the sun. We're going to look at only one day. The sun's going to rise in the east, set in the west. Here it goes. You'll notice that the sun is traveling faster than the moon. It's in the beginning. When they were rising, the moon was in front of the sun. Throughout the day, the sun catches up with the moon. And by the evening time, the sun has gone ahead of the moon. Okay. Now, when the sun and the moon are in a straight line with the earth, it's called the Moldad. Let's say this is Israel. Let's call this Bavel. Let's call this area in between. And we're going to say that the Moldad happens directly when the midday, the sun and the moon are directly overhead. Okay. Now Rashi says that the last time you can see the moon before the Molad is six hours before. That's the last moment. So at this moment over here, if you're in Bavel, over here is your horizon. You can see the moon at that last moment. Again, six hours before the Molad is when the moon is last visible. So you can see the moon. What if you lived in Earth to Israel? And your horizon goes this way. And you can't see the moon at that last moment. Why not? Because it hasn't risen yet in your sky. This for you is the ground. This is the last moment the moon is visible. It hasn't risen yet. The moment it rises, it turns invisible. You can't see it, it's too small. You can only see this little bit over here. It's too small to see with the eye when it's that close to the sun, when it's that small. Let's say you're in Bavel. You last saw the moon six hours before the Molon. And when is the next time you're going to see the moon after the Molon? Well, you're not going to see it for six hours afterwards because that's how long it takes to become visible. But by the time it becomes visible, it's below your horizon. It already set. So you can't see it. So when will be the next time you could see it? After the Molin, 18 hours later. The Gemara says, for Bavel, you could see the old moon six hours before the Molin. Because it's above your horizon. That's the last one that's visible. And what about the new moon after the Molin? It'll be 18 hours later. Because it will be big enough to see, and it will come up over your horizon. Over here. Six hours of the old, 18 of the new. All together, 24 hours, the moon's invisible. And everything we just said works in the opposite for Israel. Let's go back to the first moment over here. This last moment that the moon is visible, if you're in Israel, it's below your horizon. By the time it rises, it already turns invisible. So you can't see it. So when was the last time you saw it?
Last time you saw the moon was yesterday, when it set, when it was big enough to see. You didn't see it all night. And then when it finally rose, it was invisible because it was too small. And it was invisible for another six hours till the Molon. So that's 18 hours of the old moon that you couldn't see it. What about the new moon? Six hours after the Molon. It sets, becomes big enough to see, and it's above your horizon, so you could see it. And that's what the Gemara means when it says, in, for us in Bavel, you can see the old moon for six hours, the new moon for 18, a total of 24, the moon's invisible. In Israel, the new moon, you will see six hours after the Molan. The old moon you didn't see for 18 hours, for a total, 24 hours, the moon is hidden.